Hey, this is Aya Khalaf and welcome to another episode from Be Nourished. So mommy took the challenge on herself this year to make a gluten-free kunefa, gluten-free basbusa and gluten-free... Today I'll make the gluten-free, dairy-free basbusa recipe, but over the coming days I'm also going to make a dairy-free, gluten-free cream kunefa and cream atayef. Now, if you're an Arab, you know that if Ramadan hits in, there are so many invites and there are so many desserts that come with it. And most of those desserts are, of course, made of gluten, dairy, and sugar. And if you've been following me for a while, you know that we are a gluten-free and dairy-free household, and especially my youngest daughter. She's the one that really suffers from eating gluten and dairy. Now, alhamdulillah, none of us are celiac. None of us have any threatening conditions if we have gluten every once in a while, but our stomachs really don't feel happy with gluten. And at the same time, I really feel bad for such a young kiddo to go to all of these elaborate feasts and just have to sit there and watch her friends eat kunafa, basbusa, and asayif and all of these things when she can't have them. And so mommy took the challenge on herself this year to make a gluten-free kunafa, gluten-free basbusa, and gluten-free asayif. Now, as a warning here, I am not trying to make any healthy versions of these desserts this time trying to make something that will taste very, very similar, that wouldn't have gluten or dairy so that it doesn't upset her stomach. I have no intention whatsoever in trying to make this healthy. So just as a warning, don't over consume these things. They do have a tendency to pile on a lot of weights and they are not healthy. So keep your portions limited, but at least if you can't have gluten and you can't have dairy, but you still want to enjoy those cultural desserts, then at least you have a way to do so. So let me show you what I've reached so far and I'm still kind of working on my recipes and hoping that I can perfect it even better. So here I'm trying two recipes. I'm going to start both with one cup of rice flour and then I'm going to add to one of them one cup of almond flour and to the other one cup of corn flour. Everything else will be the same. One tablespoon of tapioca starch on each, one egg on each one. third of a cup of yogurt and you can use cows, goats or non-dairy. Here I was using a goat's yogurt and then um, half a cup of melted ghee. If you do fine with dairy then you can use butter and if you completely can't do any dairy even ghee then you can use just regular oil or any type of vegan butter. A pinch of salt and then one tablespoon of fine shredded coconut and mix everything up together. And then add the sugar, the baking soda, and then if your dough seems to be really hard, then add one to two tablespoons of milk. You can again add non-dairy milk or dairy milk. I'm using goat's milk in this recipe. And then mix everything until it's completely smooth and the dough is like um, a soft consistency. Spread some ghee in your pans and put your dough in the pan. I will heat the oven at 375 degrees and I will put the basbusa in for about 30 minutes or until you see it golden from the outside. While it's cooking, you can start up your sugar syrup, which will be one and a half cup sugar, one and a half cup water, a few drops of lemon and some vanilla. I did find that the recipe with the corn flour needs much more sugar than the other one. So I would say if you go with that recipe, then maybe use two cups of sugar instead of just one and a half cups. Get in here, Jenna. It's the best boosa, best moosa. Genocide. Genocide. Mm. I love it. 
تبدوئي الثانيه اند سي ويتش وان يو لايك بيتر اند ويتش وان از مور بسبوسه وات بسبوسه ثينكي ويتش مين بسبوسه لايك ويتش وان تيستس مور لايك بسبوسه اند ويتش وان تيستس بيتر لايك ذيس وان ذيس وان بيتر لايك اتس لايك ذيس تو تيست ديفرنت فيري ديفرنت سو ذيس وان تيست لايك يو نيد مور سالت ان ات So sugar as they? Yeah. Okay. If you put sugar in this one, yeah. Okay, the other one, is it perfect? Would you rate it from 1 to 10? How much would you rate? From which one? It's a dog a bit. 10. 10? And this one is? 5. 5? I think I've reached something that's making the girls super happy. They're really enjoying it and they have something to take with them and enjoy when everybody else is eating all the gluten stuff. Now, if you enjoyed this recipe, please try it out. Leave me a feedback. Don't forget to like the video and share it with your friends who are also gluten-free and dairy-free. And of course, don't forget to hit the subscribe button so that you can get all the videos that will come. Thank you and I'll see you in another episode.